I'm an admin, adamant advocate for continuous learning because I realized what I studied when I was in university because I chose it when I was a teenager and that was now like 20 years ago for me is not adequate. I might as well just still be now considered illiterate compared in this society because society is always advancing and whether it's with technology right now if you're like not computer literate you're gonna have certain problems right now to deal with. So you gotta always be an advocate of learning. However way you learn, is it through books? Is it through short courses? Do you go back to school? Do you do seminars? Whatever it is that you do, whether you try, like you gotta stick to something where you're continuously learning and how often you need to do that. And it doesn't have to be like in, a, in an industry alone. It could be personal development. That's massive, I think. I think that's an investment in yourself that you can't forego because it changes everything else it even changed your career the trajectory of your career and all of that so I, I absolutely think this is the time to uh, change your orbit if you need to and uh, make those changes because there's no excuse you have access to resources like it's not like you're not a child where you rely on your parents to give you everything you've passed that you're not a student where you still rely on some other source because you're studying this is, you've been in your career for about 10 years, maybe 15 years at this point. You have access to resources. In this day and age, you have access to internet. Any information is available to you with just, you know, on, in your handset. So there's like literally no excuse in the world why you're, you're unhappy and you're not making any changes and you're not doing that. There's just, just none. Yeah. I know yeah. You'd, I, you'd, no one's going to feel bad for you. And whatever you're explaining at the start of the show, you just said that uh, you're, and, and, and you're right, you're living this. I've seen that in you. I've seen that uh, even in a short duration of time. And actually, I met you uh, around three years ago. That was the first time I met you. And, and I think I've seen, and, and at that time also, you perfectly fell in this bracket of 35 to 45. You're 40 right now. I think you probably would be around 37 at that time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was the first time I met you. And I think from 37 to 40, there's, there's a sea change in you. Huge. Huge change in Huge. you. Huge. I almost don't, uh, I almost, like if I were to meet that person, okay. like Ramona at 37, uh -huh. uh, it would ha I would have an interesting conversation with her, but I don't know if like we wouldn't have a lot of things in common because there is a huge change. And you might think that sounds absurd. No, I've just been able to tap into things that were not available to me because my focus wasn't there. So where's your focus? Wherever your focus is, it's where your energy goes. And where your energy goes, it's what you're going to get really good at. Right, so um, now I've shifted into so many other aspects of my life that I'm trying to conquer one after the other because your life is multifaceted, right? There's your health, there's your personal relationships, there's your relationship with yourself, then there is, you know, your career, then career is different than finances, then there's there's a whole bunch of aspects to your life which we did, if if you recall, early food for thought yes. episodes, and um, and and that's important. So if you're excelling in one thing but not doing so well and flunking in other areas then that's time to reflect and, and change your pivot, change your uh, orbit and, and get to where you need to go because there's no excuse. Like you're a fully enabled adult with resources and access to everything you want. Like there's, there's no reason why you should be suffering.